Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my newest Minecraft series. I'm doing the zoo thing again. I'm doing this with mods. I'm doing this with shaders. I'm doing this the right way. As a kid, I was really inspired by Siri Pixel Biologists zoo crafting and I kind of want to do that same thing and make my own zoo. So don't expect this to be fast-paced content. Don't expect giant upgrades every single episode. I just want to have fun and play Minecraft. I've downloaded quite a few mods, as you can see. As you can hear, the ambience is just gorgeous. I love it so much. And here we can see a beautiful caribou. And would you look at that? A nest, let's see what's in it. <gasps> Mystery eggs, oh my gosh. I don't know how to find out what those are. Maybe we can hatch them. Look at you, wow. Can I ride? <gasps> Guys, what? I I don't need a saddle, I'm just riding around? Are you crazy? Bro, I just broke up a whole family. Okay, say goodbye to your wife. You're never gonna see her ever, or your husband. My bad, say goodbye to your husband. You're never gonna see him ever again. You're gonna come on an adventure with me. I, this is crazy. I just hopped on. I, what? What? Okay. Um, well, I guess this is a thing now. Time to go out into the world and, and seek my fortune like the three little piggies. <laughs> anyway, I just, oh. We had to stop to do a little rearing. There's an interesting combination of camels and caribou out here. <gasps> this one's all white. Oh my goodness. You're so rare and beautiful. That's a shame though, cause I'm already taken. Where to? Where to? I definitely don't want to build in an ice biome. I want something more generic like planes. What is this? This shows, I think, this is a supplementary biome thing. Okay, so this shows where the closest village is, which would be 300 blocks in this direction. So I just follow the sign and I end up in a village. That's pretty crazy. Now, what are these critters over here? These big, big fellas, these beefy, beefy guys. <gasps> Buffalo? Will buff Buffalo, oh my gosh. Now I'm interested as to where this village is because I'm noticing that there's a whole lot of nothing in this direction. Now, what kind of horse do we have here? I have realistic horse genetics on also because I'm like a horse genetics freak. So it looks like here we've got a donkey. Oh, scared me. Oh my God, I see the village. Are you kidding me? I think that's it right there. I'm just gonna get these, these blocks so I don't leave a floater. Don't wanna be leaving a floater. Bye donkey. What a weird place for a donkey to be. <gasps> Hummingbirds? You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Are they okay? They should not be in the cold. Oh no, I can't. Oh Lord. See? Leopards? I, I can't even see anything. I've gotta get indoors. No. Oh, okay. There's no bed. Interesting. Really creative. Creative design. Okay. We're noticing a lack of beds. 2,000 years later. Okay, pardon me, thank you. <laughs> you might wanna consider doing some landscaping so this isn't right outside your door. All right, I lost my, my caribou. Oh, this is a nice little ice feature, look at that. Camels, cats, oh, what is this? It's cute, whatever it is, canola, hmm. That is very cute. I like how it bundles up in the inventory, that's so cute. I lost my caribou, found her him he would never leave me wtf i can't even come back here. oh creeper oh man guys wait i can watch this mm. ah oh ha i've got tools and i'm gonna get him i'm gonna get him yeah I love this, this, these textures. I really am loving it. Ah, he's exploding. I've lost my keys. OMG, OMG, he dropped wool. Oh my gosh, I can make a bed. Ah, best day ever. And that was such a cutie. Am I right? I love the snow sounds. I feel like I'm really, I'm really in the snow. Ooh, I'm getting a little chilled. Get All right, I'm just gonna go through and ransack this village really quickly. 
I'm so cute. Okay. I'm so excited to, to zoo it up. Should I get the bell? No, that would be so mean. I'm trying to be nice. I'm a I'm but a lowly zookeeper. These bushes though. Oh. Ah! Ah. What is going on? Oh! What is that? Literally, what is that? And why is the baby attacking me? What? <laughs> Go faster, you idiot! What WTF? Well, I know where I'm not welcome. Jeez. Looks a little bit like a water bear. It doesn't really look like a polar bear. Ah! What WTF? What what does this mean? Oh no. What what even? Oh no, is my caribou dying? <gasps> Guys, I've got you. Oh my gosh. Come here. There we go. Oh my god, that was dramatic. Alright, let's go. I've got to think of a name for you. No! Not again! Oh my god. I can't. Your head is in this block. Get out. Exit. Ah! Oh, creeper! Oh my god. What is that? Before I... Before I near it. Oh, moose. You do not go near moose, especially when they're brawling like this. Moose are very dangerous. That is very cool, though, to watch them do that. Very, very cool. Okay, I believe we have located another village. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, we've had our first death. R.I.P. Caribou number one. You are gone, but not forgotten. Oh, what happened to my friend? I don't know. Ah! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ah! This has to be the end for me. You've got to be kidding me. Get me out of here! <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> Literally never walking on snow ever again, by the way. Oh, it's a llama. Why is that next to this village? How many people have perished? I don't even... I can't even... I am so sick of being in the snow. I really would like to go. My caribou also thinks so we are both in the know going with the flow we've made it to the this strange biome that i'm unfamiliar with ah no i don't want to walk on the snow again trillium oh my god Oh my god, that's my mom's, like, favorite flower. This is a very special flower to me. <laughs> I also just did, like, a mini project on it a, um, a few few weeks ago. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't get off a caribou and into a bed because I'm just perpetually falling. But that is insane! Oh my gosh, I can't believe... Well, first of all, they got it a little wrong. It has only three leaves and three petals. This has like one, two, three. It has like six, but this is, yeah, it needs to only have the three leaves and the three petals, but it is um, very interesting that that's a thing. That's, that's amazing, actually. This was at one point an endangered species. You're not allowed to pick them 
which is very fun fact. Oh, forest fire. Ow! <gasps> Blue Jay. <gasps> Look at the baby seal. Oh my god. Okay. Can't wait to put that in the zoo. That's so, this is gonna be so cute. Big open spot of snow. Also, snow leopards. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna lose it. Um. <laughs> well, it was fun hanging out with you while it lasted. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. You know what? Maybe this is for the best. Perhaps I should take to the seas. Hello, sperm whale. I have to get rid of something to pick up my crafting table. Get rid of this. Do I need... I don't need a temperate bush. What? What do you want? You can have... You can have a seed. You can have a bush. What? What do you want from me? A snow block? Um... I don't know, man. A fence? Okay, I hope that made you... Hope that made you happy. Pamps. Hey, wait a minute. This is kind of the biome I was looking for. Let me grab my boat. <laughs> oh my goodness. This might just be perfect. All right, and then we have some natural resource for use over here. I think this is the perfect place for a zoo. Wow. Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. I think I want to start over there with the main stuff on that side and, and work our way over here, maybe. Oh! There's a little snake and he's got his own little hole over here. Wow. Oh! Did he just make babies in there? I don't know. I'll, I'll leave you be. Have fun with your babies. I should come back and check on him. Alright. Excuse, excuse me for doing this. Ah! Where did you come from? Oh my gosh, he's got a burrow in the ground too. Wow! There's a lot of wildlife over here. What a cutie! Hi, Bubby! Excuse me for doing this. And I promise I have an explanation as to why. I just would like to see this in the greater context of being up here. I'll save you, little raccoon! Get out of the water! Oh, this, this guy is dumb. Get out of the water! Oh, my bad. My bad, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're out of the water. Oh, we're back in the water. Huh? I'm sorry. Hey! Huh? Well, I'm sorry for hitting you. I didn't mean to do that. Oh! Do you want some bread? Oh, my goodness. Buddy. I'm just trying to help. Oh, I just gave you bread! No! Okay. I feel very horrible about having to do this. But oh my goodness, that raccoon almost killed me. I even- I gave it two of my bread. Alright, well here's my cute little setup. OMG! And here, this is where the welcome house is going to be. I'm going to put it on this side and then I'm just going to expand this however I see fit. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this zoo, guys. I'm so excited. What? What is loving about this? Why did you just love heart? Because you slept? Aww, what a cutie. This mod really saves a lot of time because these trees are going to be cut down in an instant. And this is a big boy. Look at that. Instantaneous. Wow. <laughs> and maybe we could add a little fur. Maybe the floor could be fur. I can see that. 
Oh, it's so satisfying. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. And any spider? Oh, oh, yep. There's a spider. Oh, I like how the spider, er, how the creeper lights up when it's about to explode. Why is this taking so long? Oh, goodness. Thanks, bird. I, okay, I wanted three, but two is okay because I'm gonna make a fishing rod. And I'm excited to see what comes with fishing. I have aquaculture on, so I'm really excited for this. Let's see what I can get from the depths. <gasps> a koi fish? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. Hey, hello, geese. Hello. Hey, that's mine. Put that sand back. <laughs> You're, you look really stupid right now. Sand is a very stupid thing to steal. Especially for you. Look at your face. Don't get your friends in on this. Hey! I'm gonna try something... ...fancy. With this door. Oh! No, no, no. I meant dark oak. I meant a dark oak door. Do we not... What does a fur door look like? <laughs> oh, lord. Oh, well, I don't want to do it with oak, either. Oh, God. Okay. Spruce is all we got right now. We're on a budget. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. I can always edit this later. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that is the... That is the what I wanted to not happen, actually. So. Here we go. Outside of the door. Ready? And watch this. Wait. Look at that. Beautiful. It just needs some texture. It just needs some texture, but that is a nice doorway. Mm, mm, mm. All right, there's the floor completed. And this was an accident, but I kind of like the look of the fur as like a little desk somewhere in here, like a little little table maybe even. I'm not sure like I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's something. It's something. I don't know. I do need to add an info desk in here somewhere. That is weird. I think this is weird. Two thousand years later. I need to save this little pigeon. We're having a pigeon emergency. Look at this idiot. What are you doing? Come here. Come. Come out of the lava. Please. Please! You want more seeds? Get out of the lava! Oh my god. This is gonna catch on fire, just so you know. So you gotta hurry up. OMG, OMG, OMG! Okay, no, and don't- No, don't go right back in! Huh? What are you doing? Come here! Come here! No, I see you looking at me. I see you looking- I'm not gonna save you again. I'm- Oh... Capitalizing on my goodwill. Go. Don't do it again. I won't give you any more attention. Don't start flapping. Stay- Stay right- Stay right over there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, we're going back into the fire. That's- Oh. Oh, are you following me now? <laughs> no! <laughs> it's not funny. This is very serious. Oh my god. Oh. Oh dear. That's awful. Well, that was traumatic. Anyway, um, I think I finished the exterior of the house. So let's take a little tour. All right, this is the front of the house. I really want it to be open. So I did this open window feature over here. And as you can see, the, the roof steadily um, creeps up in the back. So let's get the full 360 view. So here we have this big window and you can see that that creep 
and this these tall windows in the back very bright very open very um big view of the nature and then over here i'm not really sure what i'm doing oh yes i am i didn't finish i have to put the rest of these trap doors okay so allow me to draw your attention to this beautiful oh there we go here is my final solution to the issue we were having of making it look good so this is kind of like the, the side the side entrance so here we come inside and look at that oh it's so beautiful Maybe this could be the side entrance, this could be the main entrance. But, you walk in, first impression. It's very open in here. You see these, the tall windows, like... Tall windows like this bring a lot of light into, like, real spaces. This is like an actual architectural thing. Like, ceiling to floor, like... Or if the ceiling where there's windows is taller and then gets, like, like this. You know, it brings a lot of light into the space, so I brought that into Minecraft. Oh, look at the beautiful panes on the on the floor, the shadow. Very beautiful. So we get this lovely view of the lava pit, but of course, this will be a view of our beautiful zoo as time goes on. So, and then in here, we've got this little... Uh, this feature, I guess. Um, kind of a sunroof kind of thing. And then you can... Mm, can enjoy the beautiful view of the river and the otters in my boat. The otters in my boat? <laughs> the otters in my boat? Oh my god, I'm on the floor. Maybe this door wasn't the best idea. What are you guys doing in my boat? <gasps> Aren't you just the cutest? Oh, I guess this is your boat now. You know what? I don't have very many supplies right now, so I'm thinking that maybe later we will have to work on this interior because I'm thinking we obviously are going to need some lanterns and some... Like, I want a book and quill for everyone to be able to sign their name. Hopefully no mobs can spawn in here. These torches are just so dim. Okay, well... There are a lot of these buffalo around in this grassland. So I was thinking, first order of business, we ensure that they always have a place to stay. We make them an exhibit first. And they can take a lot of this grassland. So we leave a lot of this grassland open for them. And hopefully that makes them happy. <laughs> That's really interesting. So you can stand on the other bushes. Not this bush. Oh, I think over here is a good bison refuge. So I've got to think like a bison. Like this really has to not feel like an enclosure. It just has to be in an area. It has to be an area that will, that is an enclosure, but it, it doesn't feel like one because it's such a big space. What? The floor just received my box. What is that? I don't- I didn't want to give away my box. What is it? Lockbox? Oh, it's Aquaculture 2 thing. Ooh, a box turtle. <gasps> Aquaculture 2. Oh my god. So excited. So excited. But I've got to organize my things. It's a- <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> it's kind of scary. What? Do I have to craft it into something? I don't get it. I'm just gonna starve, I guess. I know I can cook goose eggs. Maybe I should set loose some geese in here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you for existing, Mr. Goose. I shall name you. That's a great idea. I'll name you Honk Honk. Hi, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hi, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And he will give me eggs. Why? Why do you want a sword? Hong Kong. That sword is bad. It's junk. You don't need that sword, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, we're supposed to be welcoming guests. 
not stabbing them. Oh. It's a good thing we're not open yet. <laughs> Hong Kong agrees. All right, I have no idea what to do with this fish. I'm still, I'm really hungry, still. But I can't... God forbid I eat a fish, like... Let me try these. I think I'm gonna really need to start with a garden. <gasps> Hong Kong, you've grown up! Oh! You're so handsome, you don't look anything like your parents! You're... Oh! It's a little bit of a fire going on outside, but that's okay. It can affect us. That's not touching us, right? Oh my god, I've got to go, Hong Kong. <gasps> Hong Kong, you've made a baby. Oh my gosh, I will put this in safekeeping for you. Don't worry, Hong Kong. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, you're all grown up. Okay, hold on. I've got to get some dirt. I think I've completed... The perimeter, however, I would like to fill in this. There's this giant, like, hole of water that I decided I don't want there anymore. Honk, honk, don't escape. This. I, I don't think this is... It's not bringing me joy. As Marie Kondo says. Yeah, we're okay. This can all burn down for all I care. Who cares? Now I just have to focus on making the rest of this area livable for these bison. I will add a pond in later. I would like a big tree. Perhaps like a big uh, or shade. A big like big oak. Anyway, well, we've already got some happy bison living within. I'm gonna go do a perimeter check and make sure I got, I actually got every single spot. So we're looking good. So this pen is huge. It comes around this way. All the way around over here. Plenty of space for the bison to frolic and play and graze and forage. And then we come all the way around here. Oh, these two were separated. Whoopsie. Um, and then we continue and there's a creeper hole and we continue <laughs> and there's another creeper hole. Oh, no, that's just a regular hole. That I will fill in and um, I don't know what this is um, we come around and sure enough everything is great over here even though there's been some fire incidents it's okay we I covered in that spot and now I believe I believe that's everything how do you like your old home that's just been made smaller how do you feel? Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for being a part of this episode with me. I'm really excited to continue on, to continue adventuring, and exploring, and creating. And I urge you all to get out there and explore and try something new. Anyway, that's all from me. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>